Hey guys, what is up? It is Beast of Prestige, and I'm back again, and this is episode 4 of the Building Prestige Heights series of Planet Coaster, and basically, um, this episode, <laughs> it's very late, and I am now uh, commentating it at around 11.30pm, uh, that's because I was actually in Amsterdam for the night, and now I decided, you know what, I still gotta make this video, that's why I'm uploading this late, uh, but anyway, let's get into this video now, after a beautiful time lapse with the sunrise right there in the game, I think the lighting of the day and night cycle actually works great uh, in Planet Coaster, and so I had to make that little shot, but let's get into creating this coaster, now what I was trying to go for is a uh, pantherophis like Hypercoaster, I suppose. Um, a B and M hypercoaster. I don't know why. I just, I just really like the look of them. You know, they're very smooth and pretty much, you know, big and spread out. Most of them are just out and back layouts, which means like they go forward um, into basically the track layout and then they go back and then that's basically it. So it's simple out and back. Uh, so I try, <laughs> I try to do that here as well. Um, I did, you know, in the first, um, the first ride right here. I did actually make like some kind of weird turnaround, uh, which you will see in a moment, uh, at the path of the entrance. Um, but you know, it's in the end, I'm really happy with the result. It's very smooth. Um, you won't get a POV yet. I will put a POV up when this uh, this section of the park is done. So basically, the entrance in the modern area. Then I will make a um, a time lapse. I uh, or actually an on ride um, video of it. I'm not sure when that will be. It might be around. Uh, let's see, I think maybe around episode 10 or something like that, uh, episode, yeah, I think episode 10 would be fine uh, to do the first POVs, or actually, like, every 10 episodes do a POV of all the new rides. That would be pretty cool if I make a new ride, at least, uh, in the next 10 ones, I think I will. But, yeah, getting into Planet Coaster, the coaster builder, <laughs> the first coaster that I built was Pantherophis, and you can go ahead and check out the link in the description. Uh, to go to that video and you will see that it's not a very smooth coaster. Uh, in my opinion, it looks kind of good. It looks better than the Roller Coaster Tycoon World uh, clone of it, basically, because they're kind of clones. They're built after each other. Uh, the Roller Coaster Tycoon World coaster was there first. But, you know, I didn't use the smooth tool at all, and right now I'm actually using it a lot of time. It doesn't always do what you want. Uh, it also makes, you know, it makes your... Um, turns kind of unbanked and also somehow it makes them some uh, some kind of square shaped so you know they're they're kind of they're gonna be kind of joltery when you use the smooth tool too much so be careful where you use it and when you use it you can also bank the uh, coaster track later by just clicking on the piece of track and you can edit the vertex right there and that just you know it works very nice now right here I was trying to you know I actually got rid of the turnaround at the path because I thought like you know what there's gonna be buildings there uh, So I really shouldn't do that there and now I'm kind of just Looking for how to end this coaster now. I didn't want to end it this soon It should have a mid-course break run and I actually added a uh, mid-course break run You can actually see that I think in a second um, Basically the mid-course break run is a part of a coaster where the coaster goes through a block break where it can have an emergency stop but it's mostly just for uh, for trim but it can also you know it's it's also meant for if the coaster doesn't make it all the way to the station or it's broken down or something like that and the coaster has to stop it can stop there um so the mid-course break run right here and after that a nice twisty drop um and then it goes basically into a s bend and goes back around in another turn and then goes up and into the brake section and I, I really like the fact that I actually built the brake uh, section before I did the rest um, because you can just align it with the brake section and the brake section will always be straight and that's very you know it's I know it's kind of important to me now trying to figure out how to make the coaster connect it turns out that you you can't really make it connect like this uh, with the nodes basically you can't place the node right there exactly at where the last piece of track is but if you get it close enough, or actually not even close enough, but you can just hover your mouse over the final vertex right there, and it will automatically connect. And that is one of the best things uh, about this coaster creator that I have seen yet. Um, now, I know that Rollercoaster Tycoon World had an autocomplete function, and I know it still has, probably. Um, but, you know, this just this system with the three buttons that you get, and, you know, the freedom that you have with all the different 
uh, style of track. So basically just the, the trim and that kind of stuff, you know, the brake, uh, the lift hill. Um, the lift hills actually work pretty great. The um, catwalks, they align perfectly to each other. So I'm really happy about the way, I'm really happy about the way the coaster is actually built. Um, I really like the way this coaster looks. And what I thought was, you know what, I always do in Rollercoaster Tycho 3 is add spotlights to the coaster. So that means that I place spotlights uh, basically on the supports to make them shine up. Now I use these little like up wall lights and I actually found out later that they aren't great for lighting up a support. They only light up about 2 meters, the bottom 2 meters of the support. Um, so what I want to try to do in the next... Uh, well, basically not the next episode, but the episode after that, you know, where I theme the coaster a little bit more. Uh, what I want to try then is just add some blocks and try to add those big spotlights vertically so that I can actually um, basically light up the coaster from beneath. And that would look pretty cool uh, at night. So just adding some little theming around the exit area, you know, some fa some fences and all that stuff. I quickly want to talk about next episode. The next episode, I'm not sure... 100% if it's gonna be up tomorrow go ahead and check my Twitter out at dot Brian it's in the description um, But basically what happened is when I record with freps uh, freps creates Dot uh, avi files that are four gigabytes big well a little bit under four and when they reach four Somehow they become corrupted and I can't uh, load them into my editing program, which is Adobe Premiere Pro and I can't edit my video and therefore I can't make a video but now I kind of found a way to fix it. You can check out my Twitter, it's right on there. Um, but it takes a lot of time and the video will be up. Uh, I know it will be, but it will just take some time. So please stay with me and um, yeah, follow me on Twitter for news. Anyhow, I want to thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace from Pieces of Prestige. <laughs>